gather around family i got a story to tell and it's about tesla stock ticker symbol t s l a and a huge lawsuit that they got going on and family this one might throw you for a loop tesla is currently 262 dollars at time of this recording and it's currently up only three percent on a day however even with this move a whole lot of people made a whole lot of money including us over at kgu where i helped the family get up 11 percent, which was even better than the move that tesla did because we knew how to trade stock options. But even for those who didn't know how to trade stock options, I showed you exactly the order so that if you wanted to do this as well, then you could decide. And then I showed you the stop loss in the entire play written out on a section we got called Keenan's Trades, where you can see exactly what I'm doing and then you be the judge. Family, I'm talking about straight up buy alerts. Boom, Keenan loaded up on here. He put a stop loss here and then boom, we knocked it out of the park. If you wanna be a part of that, join KGU, come get the buy alerts and also take the classes, family. $15 and it's gonna be the best 15 you ever spent. The link for that is in the top of the description. But let's get to that story that I was talking about with Tesla, which is the second hottest stock in the stock market right behind Nvidia and right above Intel. What's going on with them? Well, there's a crazy lawsuit and people asking for a whole lot of money. And when I see it, the first number that pops out is $370,000, but not just that. The lawyers who killed Elon Musk $56 billion payday want $370,000 an hour. When we go into the details, we can see that this is the legal team who represented a shareholder who sued Elon Musk back in 2018. And this legal team is now breaking the record for the demand for compensation. Richard Tornetta, is the stockholder who owned only nine shares of Tesla at the time in 2018, and he began the legal battle. And then Tornetta was represented by three law firms, including New York's based Bernstein, Lidowitz, Berger, and Grossman. So the big institutions who are law firms saw this opportunity to sue Elon Musk and just jumped in full fledged to represent somebody who only had nine shares at the time. And the legal team was 37 legal professionals and they requested $7.2 billion in the company's shares at the Friday stock price, according to court documents filed in Delaware. And this is the equivalent of $370,000 an hour for the crew, the lawyers, the associates, the paralegals. And this is the guy right here, the drummer, who threw Elon Musk $56 billion pay into limbo. And then all of the lawyers jumped right on top of that to try to get paid off of what he was suing for. And what's crazy is we've been seeing all of these different kind of articles, if you knew what to look for, of Richard versus Elon. And then turns out Elon Musk won the $56 billion pay package despite the judge's ruling to void it. So family, I wanna give a shout out to my guy, Richard Tornetta, for doing what? Getting Keenan Grace a big payday because Tesla is up 48% this month, AKA since all of this pay package stuff has been cleared. But if it wasn't for Richard, if it wasn't for your boy Richard, then Tesla stock would have never came down for me to jump on a slingshot and ride this wave straight to the promised land. So shout out to them for adding that uncertainty adding that fear, adding that doubt, and giving me a chance to load up low. Because now, when you look at it up 48% this month, your boy KG, I don't say this to brag, I say this to inspire, is up $11,000 today alone, and $67,000, family. That's like a full year of a salary. Family, I love to see it. Just from holding Tesla stock alone, analysts are divided and when analysts are divided, Wall Street's divided, they give us another chance to jump back on that slingshot and ride that wave straight to the promised land. And they said this, that Tesla has previously disclosed plans for the robo taxi, also known as the cyber cab. Mm, that's an interesting name, which the company plans to unveil on, and write this down, August 8th, 2024. Analysts are saying that they don't expect the segment to actually really launch though until about 2027, but they do expect it to be meaningful to the business long-term. 
So that's what we like to see. That Tesla can add a whole new segment of something to make money on. Already they selling cars and they're getting money from solar power and things like that. But to add on a whole new business model right into something that they already have existing, which is the self-driving, family, that's gonna be absolutely monumental for Tesla. I'm not telling you what to buy, hold, or sell. I can't tell you what to buy, hold, or sell but I can show you that I'm making money on the stock market and how I'm doing it, family. And I want you to get paid too. Now, let's get over to some important levels. $267. This is a resistance level from 2023. Tesla is gonna have a hard time breaking above that, but if it can break above that and confirm and close out on the day, then I'm looking for Tesla to go to about 286. And if not, test the 290 level before finding even more resistance. So I'll be looking to play that one right back up. Make sure you use a stop loss if you get into any play. If you don't know how to use a stop loss, do not trade. You will lose all of your money, but it's so easy to do to predetermine your risk. And you can just change the game and be better than 90% of traders, 98 of them, because you know how to use a stop loss and you know how to manage your risk. That's really where everybody is failing at. They just haven't learned how to do it and haven't really put the time in. Google it, YouTube it. You can do it, fam. Put some time in. So now, Let's go over here. Or if you want KGU, I already got you with all of that too. But Palantir stock, $29. This is a resistance level from the year 2021 that has been tested and tested and tested and tested. And it's been an extremely strong resistance. Palantir just about hit that level basically today. It fell right on down. But what happens if we can break above this resistance? Then we could hit that potential $45 level. If we could break above this 29 level and get into the 30s, the 31s, and then kind of close out for the day. Then we can see it approach that 45 level. Family, I'm excited, but always think about the downside as well so you can manage your risk. We got a support level at about $20. That's why I would prefer to load up on this. And then we got another one down there at about 15. So if it broke under 20, then I would let it go and it'd be looking for it to come to 15 so I could potentially pick it up again. So I love y'all, I appreciate y'all family. And there's so much money to be made because there's so much confusion in the market and we just gotta know how to navigate that and then pick the stock, knock it out of the park. I love y'all, appreciate y'all and subscribe so you can be up on the plays as soon as they happen. I'll see y'all on the next one and I'll see you on KGU. Take care.